In this video, we are going to discuss the famous problem to sum. It has been asked in many interview questions. Let's go through the problem. You are given an array of numbers and an integer target. We have to return two indices of the two numbers such that they add up to target. And you are given an assumption that it would contain exactly one solution so there won't be any duplicate solutions and we should not use the same element twice let's go through some examples for example if we are given an array of 2 7 11 15 and the target is 9 the two elements which add up to this is 2 comma 7 and the corresponding indices of those are 0 comma 1 for example if the input is 17 the two numbers would be 2 comma 15 and the answer would be 0 comma 3 as the indices would be 0 comma 3 and for example if the target is 20 it would be an invalid test case as they mentioned that there will be exactly one solution and in this case there won't be any solution so there won't be any such input such that it won't add up to the num given target and let's take the other example you given 3 2 4 and if the target is 6 we have to return 2 comma 4 the corresponding indices would be 0, 1 comma 2 for 6 we can't use 3 comma 3 it would mean using the same element twice so this won't be the answer and even 8 8 is also an invalid test case because 4 comma 4 is not a possible solution. For 7 it would be 3 comma 4 which would be 0 comma 2. The indices of would be 0 comma 2. Now let's attempt to solve it manually without thinking of any code or any algorithm. For any question we have to first solve it manually and only then we have to think about coding it or finding an optimal solution for it or to fit into an algorithm because all these questions are about problem solving we should be able to solve these without any basic or any defined algorithm we should be able to find the solution for the examples first we should first finalize the approach and coding bit should just be an implementation of your logic. Logic should stand as the primary foundation for any of these questions. Let's say if we want to solve it manually, the approach would be we go through each and every element and check if there is any any element where number 1 plus number 2 is target so we start with 2 and we check all 2 7 11 15 and see if any of the numbers sum is equal to target we'll start with 2 and then we find 7 then that's an answer if we don't we'll start with 7 and see for all the other numbers similarly in this case we start with 3 and see for all the other numbers if, if there is any possible solution since in this example there is in no possible solution we'll start with 2 and we'll find 4 that's a basic logical approach if you're not able to get till here i suggest you to solve some puzzles because till now we haven't solved any we haven't uh, implemented any coding or algorithm this is some basic approach which we have to get it we have to build our logic first and then attempt to solve it in a code next let's write a pseudo code of this if 
for i equal to 0 to n we go for j equal to 0 to n if numbers of i plus numbers of j equal to target return i comma j this is our code representation of our initial approach let's see if it fits so we start with 2 as i i value will be 0 at the beginning and we'll start with 2 and j will be 2 again in this approach if you can see there is a contradiction of one of the assumption you may not use the element twice there will be a cases where i equal to j in that it will be using the same element twice so we can add the condition if i equal to equal j continue so this check now this solves all the other cases it starts with each and every element and it checks each and every element if the sum equal to target then it will return the, those indices and it's checking that if those two elements are not used twice this is a brute force algorithm so what's the time complexity of this the inner one loop runs n times for every element of n so at the end it's o of n square we can add slight modification to this where we start with one element and check only the right side elements as we have already checked the left side elements for example let's say if we if we come to 7 we would have already checked the combination of 2 comma 7 this will become i plus 1 in that way we don't need this condition to check for duplicates as there is no way i will be equal to j we can add we can do a similar logic by checking only the left side elements where j will be from 0 to i or i minus 1 even in that way it will check only the left side elements and j will never be equal to i Let's write the code for this brute force search. Uh, as we mentioned, there will be I'll be writing the code in Java. You can implement the same in any language which you want. But overall skeleton would be the same. Only some syntactical changes will be there. So if it starts with We do the first approach you have to see numbers of i plus numbers of j is equal to target then we have to return we have to return array where let's initialize the array of answer of two elements and we'll set answer as on the first index as i, second index as j. This will be the answer. Ideally, uh, this will never come to line 13, but to make it compile, we'll just add that as well. Okay, failed, succeeded the first case first example but it failed in second because we return 0 comma 0 which is 3 comma 3 so we have to add that condition that i should not be equal to j so if i is equal to j we are continuing see it solved all the other cases as well now we can add the other optimization we can start we can do the right side one first now j will is 
j starts with i plus 1 and tends till n. See, even now it succeeded. But we can do the other approach where we check only the left side elements where, where j equal to 0 to i. If you see, we are doing, doing 0, 1 now because i is less than j every time in our previous approaches. Now if you see, we are retaining 1 comma 0 because j will be less than i in this example. Now let's see where we can optimize this. To optimize any algorithm, we have to see what's the pain point or if there is any repetition or if there is any data structure which can make it simpler. If you see, this is what we are doing many times, checking if there is any element and we are doing it with O of n. Now what's the, the data structure which can optimize that bit? It is hashing. We can discuss why hashing gives O of 1 and what's the inner logic of that but for now we know that hash table gives in O of 1 time it checks whether if there is any element that is present in the hash table or not. If you want to use hash hashing let's see how our code changes. Eh? So the optimal approach should be go through each and every element check if second element is present in hash table if yes return i comma j now this is o of 1 and this is n and then it become o of n let's see the pseudo code so initially our hash table will be empty but what to check in the hash table what's the second element so we see numbers of i plus numbers of j equal to target. We know what is i. We want to find j. So numbers of i j is equal to target minus numbers of i. This is what we have to check in hash table. So as we go from 0 to n, if stable dot contains target minus numbers of i return i comma hash table dot get that second one and we have to add elements to the hash table after this we'll just add the current element the corresponding index. Let's see what's the logic would be and how our, our algorithm works. Now initially with 2 the hash table is empty so there won't be any second element. Now when we go to 7 and we'll add 2 to the hash table and its value would be the index. Now we go to 7 it checks for 9 minus 2 which is sorry 9 minus 7 which is 2 and check the hash table now it is present in hash table so we just return the index of 7 and the index of 2 this is from hash table this is current 
and in Java for hash table we'll use hash map or in Python we can use dictionary let's start the code again with an optimal approach now for each element i i equal 0 to i to n we'll check we'll initialize the hash table first we'll initialize with integer integer we use hash map index map contains second element the second element is star with minus members of i Let's return i comma j or you have to return an array let's initialize the array of answer answer of 0 is i answer of 1 is the index which is present in hash table Okay, it has to be contains. See everything passed. So the time complexity of this entire algorithm is of n, as this is of one, this is n. The space complexity of this is of n as we may use maximum n elements we may store that in hash table in the previous example the space complexity is of 1 as we are not using any extra space and the time complexity would be of n square so just by using one data structure that too by identifying the word that check if there is anything which can give it an optimal time we reduce the time complexity from o of n square to o of n so this is how we have to fit some data structures or some algorithms to make it more optimal thank you